Welcome to the Contra Costa College Auto Tech Instructional Video Series. I'm Professor Nick Rothman, and in this episode we'll be covering Toyota Prius Coolant Service. Step 1. Safely disable the vehicle. Hybrid vehicles that are on in ready mode can sit for a long period of time with the engine off, then automatically start the engine without warning. Make sure the ready light is off. It is not necessary to remove the orange safety plug before performing basic services like coolant change and oil change. Make sure the engine coolant level in the reservoir is between the low and high lines before draining the coolant. This is one way to check that there is not an existing leak. Remove the plastic radiator cover Remove the reservoir cap and radiator cap. Be sure to support the fragile radiator neck while pushing and twisting the radiator cap. It is easy to damage the radiator neck with excessive force. Warning! Never remove the cap from a hot radiator. This service can only be performed on a car that has been given sufficient time to cool off. Raise the vehicle and remove the lower engine cover. Remove the fasteners in the front edge of the driver's side fender liner. Pull back the front of the fender liner to expose the coolant heat storage tank. Disconnect the coolant heat storage tank pump electrical connector. This pump can automatically circulate coolant while the vehicle is off, so we want to disable it before the coolant service. Locate the three coolant drains under the vehicle, one on the radiator, one on the coolant heat storage tank, one on the back of the engine block. Connect three lengths of tubing to the coolant drains. Open the drains and collect the coolant into a container marked with liter or gallon measurements. The coolant should drain completely within 10 to 15 minutes. Note the amount of coolant that has drained from the vehicle and close all the drains. Lower the vehicle. Prepare the airlift by priming the coolant suction hose with coolant. Toyota Super Long Life Coolant, used in Toyota Prius, is already mixed with water. Do not add water. Connect the airlift to the radiator neck with the appropriate adapter. Again, support the radiator neck from below while you twist on the adapter. Connect an airline to the airlift and open the valve. Draw all the air out of the cooling system. The hoses may collapse and become flat. Turn off the valve once the vacuum indicator stops moving. If a cooling system leak were present, the vacuum gauge would fall steadily once the valve is closed and air source is removed. Check that the vacuum indicator stays the same for several seconds after the valve is closed and air source is removed. Insert the coolant suction line into a suitable container filled with at least two gallons of coolant. Connect the coolant suction line to the airlift. The clear line must be completely primed with coolant. Any air bubbles in the line will become air bubbles in the cooling system of the vehicle. Be sure the coolant suction line does not come out of the coolant container and draw in air during the coolant filling procedure. Open the valve. Coolant will quickly flow into the cooling system of the vehicle. Again, make sure the end of the coolant suction line stays submerged in coolant to avoid introducing air bubbles into the coolant system. The radiator hoses will return to a normal shape as they fill with coolant. Check the quantity of coolant drawn into the system. It should match the amount drained out earlier. Reconnect the coolant heat storage tank pump power connector. Reinstall the lower engine cover and fender liner.
Install a radiator funnel using an appropriate adapter. Fill the funnel at least half full of coolant. To ensure there are not air pockets in the system, we must now run the engine for several minutes until the radiator fan comes on. The best way to force the engine to run on Gen 2 Prius is to put the car in ready mode and hold the accelerator to the floor using a brake pedal depressor. Once the fan has come on, remove the brake pedal depressor. Turn off the car. Fill the reservoir to the fill line. Install the radiator and reservoir caps. Install the radiator cover. That's the end of this episode. Hope you found it fun and informative. Please feel free to check out the rest of the Contra Costa College instructional video series.